is up YouTube, it is your boy Pro Gamer Fob here, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video is going to be a Rainbow Six Siege video, and basically a channel called Ubisoft US with 1 million subscribers uploaded a video today saying Rainbow Six Siege, Shamira, Shamira, sorry if I got that wrong, operators gameplay and starter tips, meaning they show the new operators, their gadgets, and how to counter them if you are a defender and how to use them if you're attacking or vice versa via you know if it's a defender or attacker or not um so i'm gonna go ahead and play this video it is four minutes and two seconds long um so go ahead enjoy and until next time see you guys later and peace out There are two formidable new attacking operators in government-issue yellow suits coming to Rainbow Six Siege. Do not be alarmed if you suddenly feel a burst of health, experience drastically reduced recoil, or feel that you can see through walls. It's all perfectly normal for Operation Chimera. These CBRN specialists are at home in both cooperative and competitive situations. They're both rated 2 speed and 2 armor, and they each have three primary weapon options to help you play to your strengths. Let's start with Finca, the Spetsnaz specialist who's here to enhance your performance with her Adrenal Surge ability. By triggering nanites in the attacker's bloodstreams, Finca juices her whole team with a veritable pharmacopoeia of boosts and buffs. As soon as the borders of your vision go blue, you'll get a shot of extra health. This HP boost can also revive any teammates that are down but not out, no matter how far away they are. Boosted attackers will also move faster through barbed wire and recover more quickly from concussion and flashbang effects. And here's the kicker. This is your recoil. This is your recoil on adrenal surge. Any questions? Adrenal Surge is available for use twice per round. Side effects include an elevated heart rate, which makes Adrenal Surge users detectable from longer range by pulse. Do not use Adrenal Surge if you are in, or plan to be in, a cloud of toxic smoke, as your faster rate of breathing will lead to faster injury and death. If you step on a goo mine or get zapped by a yokai drone, the effects of Adrenal Surge will cease immediately. Adrenal Surge is not an effective barrier against frost traps. Ask your teammates to find out if Finca is right for you. Now let's talk Lion. Hailing from the GIGN, Lion is a formidable presence thanks to his very large backpack and his indestructible aerial drone that constantly hovers in the sky. Dubbed the EE-1D, this drone can scan the entire map, and any defender that is caught moving during the scan will be immediately lit up with a real-time, full-body outline that the entire attacking team can see. Lion takes getting droned out to a whole new level, and he can give the attackers an edge at almost any point in their assault, from dealing with spawn peekers to defending a planted diffuser. But there are a few ways the defenders can fight back. Once Lion activates his drone, both attackers and defenders will see a countdown, letting them know the scan is incoming. When the scan goes live, a visual effect kicks in and a timer icon appears on screen to show you how long it'll last. Once it's gone, there's a cooldown before Lion can scan again, and he can scan three times per round. The easiest way for you defenders to avoid getting tagged by the scan is to simply not move your feet. You can rotate in place, aim down sights, fire your weapon, and even change stance without being detected, but the second you move your feet, you're tagged. Mute jammers will disrupt the scan, so you can freely move as long as you're inside the jamming radius, but the moment you leave, you're tagged. Still, getting tagged isn't a death sentence, and a crafty defender can try to bait attackers into pursuing their bright red outline while their stationary teammate lies in wait for an ambush. To keep up with the latest in Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.